What is Beltane? Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Beltane is a fire festival, marking the beginning of the summer season. Bales of hay were ignited at sundown in prominent locations, usually on the top of a hill. All other fires were to be extinguished and relit from the bale fire the new fire of the year. All fires still alight from the previous year were said to have caused bad luck and the winter to return. People would take part of this fire home and use it to light their own. Traditionally, fairies can't start their own fires, so have to obtain them from human sources. They would disguise themselves as humans and ask for a part of the Beltane fire to take home with them. If this was agreed, the fairies would have power over the person who shared it with them. Therefore, it was socially unacceptable to ask for a part of the fire as a gift. Gods and goddesses associated with rituals this time of year include Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers, and Bacchus, the god of wine and frivolity. In Germanic custom, the celebration is based around the earth goddess, Walburga, who married the god on this night and became pregnant with a son born at Yule. Fertility rites and reproduction are important aspects at this time of year, with crops beginning to grow, lambs in the field, and cattle with their young. This is reflected in the myths of the gods and goddesses uniting at this time, symbolised with the white and red ribbons to represent the male and the female. The maypole is a wonderful example of the ribbons entwining as young children, men and women, dance weaving around the pole, each clutching a ribbon. These rituals are designed to encourage the continuation of crops and the health and well-being of cattle and the villagers. The maypole, still used today, was originally made from the communal pine tree which had been decorated at Yule. Nowadays, a simple flagpole is usually used. Traditional dances performed by Morris dancers, often with bells on their ankles. Folklore tales and representations of sexual union are danced out, usually by eight couples of dancers. Ashes from the bale fire were ritually sprinkled onto crops. Sometimes a mixture of sheep's blood and milk were poured onto the crops for successful growth. The ashes were also supposed to encourage fertility. So women would take some and wear them in a small pouch. Women who were menstruating at this time were seen as very important and would ritually ride besoms like hobby horses through the fields and over hedges to ensure growth of the crops. Another important aspect of the bale fire is its purification properties. Cleansing with smoke is well known in many cultures all over the world. Passing items such as tools, ritual or otherwise, through the fire and smoke is a well-known Beltane practice. Some people jump over the fire to cleanse themselves and farmers would drive cattle over the dying fire so as it wouldn't harm them. Thank you so much for watching our Beltane video. If you're going to jump over a fire, be careful. We'll see you next time.